I'm with Delena, the owner, and Mary, the operator, and they're going to show us how their jelly cupboard candles are made. The whole process starts with putting the label in the bottom of the can, and then you put the, the fra decide which fragrance you're going to use, and put your jelly cupboard label on the outside. Put a little gingham touch on there. Put your wick inside. Pour a little bit of candle wax inside there to hold the wick, mm -hmm. and then you you're ready to get some more wax to finish the candle. So you take your candle wax. And I, I usually do it one pound intervals because I know exactly how much fragrance one pound of wax will hold. Mm -hmm. and I don't have it yet. And then once we get that much wax, we let that we let that cool. Happening. I'll take some more of this soy out of the box and refill my crock pot. So after I get these poured, I got a new new supply ready to go. Okay. So you just kind of wait till the wax cools and yep. then. Yep. You it. scrape up a little bit. Put them on top of there, and then it's a little bumpier. Yeah. Nice. Now, did you kind of come up with that design yourself? I never even thought about it as being a design. I mean, it. it I just kind of came up with how can I get this, how can I get this candle more full than the top of the lid, mm. um, and use up all my wax. I mean, otherwise, what am I going to do with that wax? Mm -hmm. You know. So that's just the leftovers. That's just the leftovers. That's oh. right. It's just the leftovers for the jelly cupboard candles. Yeah. And it's all it goes all back to that theme of kind of repurposing. And Re that's right. Making making good use out of everything that you got. I mean. So now all I got to do is put a little bit of fragrance oil in, in that, in that one right there, and then I'm ready to frost these. Ooh. So I can pour a little bit more in that one. But look, I mean, I have been all day, and I've made, I've gotten one candle, two, three candles done. I mean, it just takes so much more time than anybody could believe. But mm -hmm. um, it's just time you enjoy spending. Yeah. And the reason that I wait and do my last little bit here because it's a little easier to pour and I hate to get the wax over the top mm -hmm. make a big mess you know for mm -hmm. the label okay, so All right. then you. we got this one yeah we'll cross that one yeah yeah they still there. they are pouring candles <laughs> <laughs> that's got to be Courtney checking on me huh yeah we got a little bit more here. Okay. I'll we, got that. Okay. we got that there. So now I'm okay. ready for another one. We need a little bit of cinnamon. Okay. Just You're a little, welcome. A little, bit of, a little bit of sweet love right there on top of that. <laughs> I can't believe Mary didn't recognize that that was just cinnamon. I, it never even occurred to me. For that's something. what it is. Yeah, that's the secret ingredient right there. <laughs> and I can pour these tarts. And before I pour them, I have to put a little, pardon me, I have to put in a little bit of color. I always make my tarts a certain color. Mm. And there we go. Oh, it's a little bit dark, which is okay. around so that gets mixed in there pretty good. Then I'm going to add, I can't remember, I think I had eight ounces here. I had eight ounces of fragrance so I know how much, eight ounces of wax so I know how much I can put a little extra fragrance oil in the tarts. If you put too much fragrance oil in the candles they won't burn mm. because the wick grounds. That's why the tarts can take a little extra and they have a little more potent fragrance. Mm. And like I say, I originally thought the best thing would be to 
just have a candle that has more fragrance than anybody else and you'd sell the most. Mm -hmm. But the wax, the wax limits yeah, is how, a, much, how much fragrance it will hold. There's a real science to it. There is a science to it. Much more than I'd have ever believed. Mm -hmm. I just thought I was going to put some wicks down in a can and have <laughs> some hot wax on top of it and it'd be good. But trial and error shows you that there's, there's... I think the cinnamon is a real cute touch. Uh, well, like I say, anybody can make a candle. If you can give it a little extra touch, a little extra, I guess that's helpful. <laughs> and they just come out of these silicon okay. molds. And we, hey. s we sell... Yes. I mean, these are a very popular item in the store. You can put a little more okay, fragrance oil. Now see this uh -huh, one, bye -bye. Yep, this one broke, so I can use this one for the top of this candle right here. Mm -hmm. And what is that, what is that mold made out of? This is a, um, it's a silicon mold. Oh. And uh, you just buy these, you just buy these molds. And I'd make more tarts if I had more molds, but the molds were kind of expensive. Mm -hmm. And um, so I just I make I try to make the same kind of tarts that I'm making the kind of candles, and then I can use the 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 crumbles as the topping for the same tart, mm -hmm. for the same candle. But we um, if that doesn't work, I just literally pour, pour some wax. See, I just broke that one, mm -hmm. which doesn't hurt anything. Like I say, I can use that for the top of my Mm -hmm. I'll use that now for the top crumble on my, my candle. And these tarts are good for candle burners? These, these tarts, they're perfect for the little tart warmers. 